Hello and welcome to my video review of the ceramic tiles. I'm actually doing a combination video review here today because uh, I've ordered two different sets of products, uh, both from Home Depot uh, through their seeds program. Uh, one of them is the Salima uh, ceramic tiles. These are 30 by 30 centimeter or 12 by 12 inch as you can see here and these are actually a PEI grade 4 tile what that indicates is that it is actually a uh, second second to highest grade possible for the hardness of these tiles in other words they are some of the most impact and scratch resistant tiles uh, based on industry standards uh, they're rated for light commercial and for really heavy foot track within within uh, residential applications. Um, by comparison, the other tile that I'm going to be using is from uh, CG uh, Gomez. Uh, these are actually a PEI grade 3 tile, so slightly less resistant to impact and abrasion and scratching. However, as you can tell, they do have a more textured uh, appearance to them. So I would expect uh, light scratches like for my dog's nails um, are going to be less apparent on them. Um, especially when I combine them between the two tile types. Uh, so these actually come in a larger size. Uh, I believe these are a 18 or 16 inch uh, size. Um, you can definitely notice the difference in size between them. Uh, what I'll actually be doing is I'll be having to cut the these tiles here. I'll likely have to cut them down uh, to size. Or if I don't cut them down to size, what I'll do is I'll lay them out like this, which is actually complete tiles not on top of each other. Um, however, if you notice, there is a difference in thickness here. And so because of that, what I'll actually have to do, um, and I assume this is just because of the size of the tile, I assume as the size grows larger, the thickness has to grow larger to accommodate the stability of the tile. Um, so what I'll have to do is I'll probably have to route out the subfloor just slightly to get it perfectly level across all the tile. Um, but overall though, I am very pleased with the tile. I've already checked it out. Um, I've checked the reviews on multiple uh, websites and manufacturer sites as well as several DIY and contractor forums. Uh, they come very highly recommended to be honest. Uh, people are very pleased with them so I've already checked them out and uh, I put them down on my floor which is a stable floor and I'll tell you what I mean like they feel solid they don't uh, they don't make any sound as if they're creaking like they're uh, too flexible or anything like that sometimes you'll get um, ceramic products that are not perfectly formed and so they'll actually slightly shift on a floor and they'll make a kind of a grinding noise uh, these are not doing that I know that the floor is level here um, because this is actually a newly remodeled floor from when I purchased the home about five years ago um, so yeah I'm very pleased and um, I'll definitely be replacing this floor. As you can see here, uh, the linoleum floor that I started out with um, did tear when I was moving this giant fridge, which I also got from Home Depot. Thank you very much, Seeds Program. Um, I love the fridge. And also my wall oven, again, from the Seeds Program at Home Depot. Loving the Whirlpool wall oven uh, microwave combo unit. Um, this tile will definitely make a great addition to this kitchen, and it's definitely opening it up. Um, as you can tell, I've combined the lighter uh, tone tiles at the border, and I've put the darker tones in the center. Um, this is actually intentional. It's based on designer forms that when I was looking at the, the tile information and reviews from different companies and different customers uh, what designers actually say is that the lighter tiles will make your kitchen appear larger but they'll show stains more easily whereas darker tiles 
will not show stains as easily but make a room feel smaller so the combination of them is this will take the stains better um, they'll hide in it more easily which is why they're also in the middle of the room and the, around the border is the lighter tiles um, to kind of expand the feel of the kitchen to make it feel a little bit larger which is very important because um, before what we actually had was a we had a 30 inch wide microwave over here um, and that's for about the past five years so you know this combination wall oven definitely helped open that up this refrigerator actually made the kitchen smaller because we started out with a smaller fridge so this tile will kind of tie into that overall process of making the kitchen feel more open and also quite honestly upgrading it um, another level um, there are some a few other additions that I'm doing um, just to make the kitchen you know higher class but uh, this tile will definitely tie into it well and I look forward to uh, enjoying it once it's all done um, it is a little bit of work I will warn anyone who is looking to do this as a DIY project I have laid tile before in a bathroom and I worked with tiles that were basically the size of these squares individually here um, and it, it's pretty time consuming. I actually spent almost an entire day with my dad doing a bathroom tile. Um, and that was on a floor that did not have any imperfections. It was not damaged in any way. It still takes time. Um, so it's not something that you want to rush. You want to definitely take your time with it. But um, when you're laying tile, the cement that you're using has to be used that, that day and really within a very short span of time and you can't go and walk on the tile while it's curing you have to let that cement cure completely if you try to walk on it too early you will you will really screw up the work and you'll have to start over from scratch you'll have to remove tiles up um, from the floor to remove the cement re-cement relay it make sure it's square it, it's a mess if you if you walk on it too early so um with the cost of these tiles as well because i checked and they're roughly seventy dollars eighty dollars ninety dollars a case um and it's not for very much square footage it's like 10 to 15 square foot per case it's not something you really want to just go oh whatever it's okay if i break some tiles or you know whatever like that um it's a costly investment it's something that should last really a lifetime um the tiles in that bathroom have withstood the test of time they've been there for at least 15 years and they don't show any signs of wear um, you clean them with a mop you know just normal you know cleaning and then never so often you clean the grout something like that um, but it, it you know it's a high-end product um, so you did something to keep in mind if you're doing this um, so I'd like to thank you for watching the review and if you have any questions of course please comment on this video. Um, I have definitely responded to comments and questions on the numerous other products I have about, I think 300 or 400 products that I've reviewed for Home Depot through the Seeds program. Um, you know, people asking from stuff from fridges to wall ovens to mowers, leaf blowers, you know, all, all, all across the entire gambit. Um, I've done a lot of different projects over the years and uh, gained a lot of experience think, thankfully to industry professionals that have taught me a lot. Um, so I'd like to share that knowledge and that's why I do these reviews. So again, thank you very much for watching and have a terrific day and good luck with your projects.